Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Monday, and Monday means one thing, we're spotlighting another beautiful creation from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is Old Rusty by Sevek. It feels like the Jowers have somehow managed to get their sand crawler into space. It's a beautiful conjunction of random sort of broken parts, it's got this rusty paint job that just really sets it off now i will warn you this ship is work in progress and if you go to his steam page he does want some suggestions on how he can continue this project so have a think about that as we take a little bit of a tour of the exterior so the first thing that really catches your eye is his paint job itself so from a distance it looks like a really rusty and battered ship and what i've seen on this design that i haven't seen on a lot of others is that he has actually damaged the armor so you can see the armor in this area looks like it's received some sort of um, warhead or something's exploded in this area creating that crumpled effect just really adding to that effect that it is an older generation ship something that people don't do on their other creations but we'll start our way at the front and we'll work our way to the back so at the front area here itself we have ourselves this very beautifully detailed thruster and antenna array now here's something that i've never seen done before so we've got two thrusters actually turned inside of each other to represent some sort of antenna or communications device with spotlights at the top so multiple of these blocks have been cut down to create this just look at the detail in that he's managed to actually do here with that limited use of blocks and using some of the blocks that are just simply cut down so going a little bit further down we have these four large thrusters and then two a little bit lower down once again he's used a variety of cut down blocks on the side so if i just turn my light on here we can have a look a little bit deeper uh, he's actually recessed the block into the design here itself and then he's extended it out used that half constructed block and then he's also used some sort of air vent fan type things to show you just a little bit more detail it looks absolutely fabulous and you can see the scale of that front engine at bay and how it's housed within the armor so as we work a little bit further back we've got some vents or ventilation ports on the side and we've got a recessed turret now what's quite cool about these turrets is they're actually recessed in but they still have a considerable arc the top of the turret itself can see out and engage but the bottom of the turret is actually protected from enemy fire perfect for engaging them swarming fighters that might be trying to take out or even pir pirates that see an old rusty ship and want to simply destroy it so moving a little bit further down into this area, we have ourselves this very beautifully detailed round area. I'm not sure if this is like a communications post or some sort of connectors to connect to other ships to dock with, but still very nice indeed. Now coming to this lower area, he's done something a little bit different with these thrusters. You can see he's actually layered a number of hydrogen tanks, and the whole point of this design here is you can see the armor is in certain areas, but certain areas are exposed as well. I just really like that concept when it's built into ships, especially when it's done right. Just look at them curves it's got. Oh, God, beautiful. Anyway, we'll continue down to this lower area here. We've got the landing gears, so this is actually capable of landing on planets, as you can tell. Right, it's got them in atmospheric thrusters, and we've also got the hydrogen thrusters under there. And we've got some more cut-down blocks there acting as protection or just some sort of way of venting the gases from them hydrogen thrusters down. Very detailed indeed. Now, on the bottom and top, we have these player-controlled rotating turrets. So you can see actually in here, the turret is mounted inside there. We've got that antenna in the center. The rockets are actually conveyor so this could work in survival mode and you can see we've got this connection point up at the side that's tucked away really nicely in there keeping it protected from stray fighter attacks perfect for a bombard and another ship at distance you can see the other one is up on the top there so you see how it continues recessing the armor in areas and just look at this detail in his ad from a distance it just makes the ship really pop them dark areas and now not just dark spots that we're using the two colors to contrast you've actually got them broken down blocks in there adding more and more detail containers with various parts stuck on landing gears that have been broken down wheel blocks that have even been broken down and then the thrusters are tucked very neatly behind that piece of armor the armor's very thin and i'm not too sure what he plans this ship on being at the moment it feels like a large sort of transport vessel but it could also be some sort of capital ship if it's armed up a little bit further so now as we go into the center you're going to notice a bit more of the damage especially to the top of this symbol itself so whatever symbol this replicates or maybe it could just be some wiring that's powering up this super powerful jump drive here in the center it makes itself a big target but clearly this ship is built for looks over functionality if we wanted a super functional ship we'd just build a cube of death 
So wrapping ourselves up around these multiple levels of armor, it actually curves extremely nicely into the cockpit bridge area so if you can see how the interior has not yet been built and i can only wait with my expectations being extremely high of what his interior is going to be like but you can just see a little bit of a hint of what the bridge might actually become we've got some outer bridge protection let's use this sort of strutted sort of structure that i quite like but at the same time i'm very interested to see if we'll do a little bit or move this a little bit around and as we curve into this area, we've got the rear turret as well as some armor that's been semi-completed. I don't know if this is just a test area or he'll be doing this throughout, but some damaged armor or some armor that needs welding up could be quite cool for an old Junker type of a ship. Now we're approaching my favorite area. So as we get to this back around here, you can see these thrusters that have been tucked here into the center as well as a ramp at the bottom so when you land it you can actually load your vehicles load your various different equipment aboard the ship itself so you can see them cut down thrusters through them windows on the side there just giving you a feeling that it's more than just the thrusters stuck on the back the thing that the hydrogen thrusters don't really capture is just like how detailed an engine bay would actually be within the inside they're very short they just like stick them on a top of a conveyor belt and they're good to go but adding this extra detail into the rear area of this engine bay makes you feel that there's a few more pipes a few more things required to make that engine actually function the same has been done up here but it's been st slightly staggered off as well as the armor on both sides you can see how it sort of vertically cuts down and really creates a beautiful shape look how that area there curves down you can see once again like i said before how he's used multiple different colors to create that rustic effect well, there's a connector there on the side so that was a quick exterior tour of this beautiful ship i'll try to take it for a little bit of a test spin but since it's a work in progress i'm not expecting a perfect sort of results so here's the little chair that we've been given um, let's test our acceleration out acceleration is looking quite good for a ship of this size uh, we've got a very slow movement to the left and right but it's going to be an old rustic sort of ship so you can only expect this thing, and as well, you can only expect Clang to probably get involved with them turrets at some time in the future as well. Just a very beautiful design. Anyway, check out the link to this in the description below, and I will see you.